croeso i bysgota Cymru. Welcome to Fishing in Wales. So here we are on the upper reaches of the River Taff on the Merthyr Tydfil Angler Alliance stretch. Um, the Merthyr Club has got some awesome water on the upper Taff, uh, about 14 miles in total. And you can join the club uh, for just £65 uh, for the whole season, which uh, gives you this fantastic river and a number of other venues where you can fish for trout. It's a completely wild fishery. Um, the club has stopped uh, putting stock fish in the river seven or eight years ago and since then the wild fish have really thrived and come on. Um, and thanks to a catch and release um, ethos, most of the anglers fishing here are putting the fish back. And the result is we've got a huge head of fish of this quality in the river and it's absolutely fabulous fishing. Three pound eight ounces of raw animal from the taff. There we go. Have a look at that. Just a fantastic wild trout. Uh, proper trophy fish, probably 20 inches long. Uh, weighed in the net, three pound eight ounces. Uh, magnificent fish here on the River Taff in Wales. Let's get that. Let's go. All right. So we're out today on the Taff, using my usual light lure setup, little four foot two um, bait casting rod with a baby bait casting reel, using a little soft plastic. So I've got a two gram jig head with a little two inch um, sort of paddle tail Kitex soft plastic. And we've had a nice little result in the form of this beautiful bar of Welsh gold. Not as large as the one Kerry graced us with, but nonetheless, a stunning fish. Let's release her. There we go. Lovely. Brilliant. Yes. <laughs> so we're really lucky in Wales that we've got the number of rivers that we actually have that allow lure fishing for trout. Uh, you know, a large percentage of rivers only allow fly fishing for them, but thankfully in Wales, we've got probably, well, I can think of probably six rivers off the top of my head that allow lure fishing for this fabulous species. So. There's a few steps that you need to uh, you need to take before you actually start fit lure fishing for trout on any river. Really, you can't just turn up at a river that you know there's a decent head of uh, trout in and start throwing little soft plastics around. That's not the way it's done. You know, you need to find your your river. You need to find your club. You need to make sure that club does allow lure fishing for trout. There's a lot of fly-only clubs around, so it's a bit of a minefield to be honest. You just need to make sure you're doing things right. 
Also, you need to make sure you've got a rod license. We pay that price for a reason, and it's the, uh, it's the maintenance and the, the care of our venues around the country. So, rod license, a ticket that allows you to lure fish for trout, um, and also you need to make sure those bylaws on that river allow you to, uh, to do what you want to do. So, this river ticks all the boxes, um, and I've enjoyed it for the last two years. So, fingers crossed we can find another one of these beautiful fish now. I'm using very small soft plastics and bumping them across the bottom in a similar manner to a fly fisherman would with a team of nymphs. Now, it's very different obviously to fishing big spinners and you see people fishing with sea fishing reels and you know 10 foot rods. This is a four foot rod with very light line, very slim braid. It's a much more finesse style of fishing than, uh, than is what is widely regarded as spinning for trout. You know, it, you don't actually only have to fish soft plastics. I fish a lot of small crankbaits as well, little plugs. Um, all changed over to single hooks rather than the treble hooks, which most, uh, which most lures are supplied with. And it just aids in, uh, obviously, that catch and release ethos, which, uh, which Kerry was talking about before, because you need to look after them. This is a rare thing to, to be able to find a stock of wild trout like this. Um, so you need to just be careful with them. And, it's never good sticking treble hooks in any fish really and uh, a wild trout does not do well with them. So every hook is uh, swapped over to a single. I crush my barbs down as well, which again helps with that release. So today I'm fishing with a Euro nymphing outfit. Um, your normal rod for this sort of fishing is usually a 10 foot three weight. Uh, though today I'm using a 9 foot 6 4 weight, we just got a bit of extra power and a bit of extra accuracy. Um, and I've rigged up a pair of nymphs uh, tied on jig hooks with a 4mm tungsten bead. Um, and on the dropper, one with a 3mm bead. Um, fishing that with a 4 pound leader uh, tied through to this little bit of indicator line, uh, which is something that I watch for any uh, strike or take from the fish. Uh, and that then continues into something called a French leader, uh, which is a nine meter length of tapered monofilament. So it's not a fly line, and I don't actually need a fly line for what I'm doing today. Um, the method is to simply flick the flies forward into the current, slightly upstream, let them sink, and keep in touch uh, with the French leader, and just let them drift just above the bottom. Uh, and while it's doing that, I'm just intently watching that indicator, any sort of movement or a twitch in the line, or if I feel something through the leader, um, then I'm aware it's a fish and then strike. Right. Have a go. So we've had a cracking couple of hours fishing, a uh, few on the lure, a few on the fly. Stopped at this little run just for a few cheeky casts on the way back and bang, a nice little fish, uh, maybe just under a pound. Um, lovely end with a day on the taff. Discover fishing in Wales 